Hi, I'm going to guide you through the CDPH 325 Criminal Record Clearance Submissions form. The CDPH 325 is a one-page form. This form is used to determine the background clearance of certain direct care employees, including licensee personnel for intermediate care facility slash developmentally disabled ICF slash DD. Intermediate care facility slash developmentally disabled hyphen habilitative ICF slash DD dash H intermediate care facility slash developmentally disabled hyphen nursing ICF slash DD dash N and home health agency HHA. The California Health and Safety Code Division 2 Chapter 2 Section 1265.52 AB requirements for licensed intermediate care facilities, specifically ICF slash DD, ICF slash DD dash H, and ICF slash DD dash N, states that the criminal record clearance shall require the applicant to submit electronic fingerprint images and related information of the facility administrator or manager and any direct care staff or any other adult living in the same location to the Department of Justice. Applicants shall be responsible for any cost associated with capturing or transmitting the fingerprint images and related information. The criminal record clearance shall be completed prior to direct staff contact with the residents of the facility. A criminal record clearance shall be complete when the department has obtained the person's criminal record information from the Department of Justice and has determined that he or she is not disqualified from engaging in the activity for which clearance is required. When completing this form, list all personnel of ICF slash DD, ICF slash DD hyphen H, and ICF slash DD hyphen N. The list must include, but is not limited to, the following individuals. All current and future direct care employees, including licensee personnel, including owners, all board officers, directors, LLC managers, slash members, administrator, any adults living at the facility, and consultants who are directly providing program and or nursing services to clients. Here's a tip. If the consultants are independent contractors and not an employee of the facility, they are exempt from these fingerprints. However, the applicant must submit a written statement to that effect. The following criteria exempts consultants from background checks. One, is employed as a consultant and acts as direct care staff. Two, is a registered nurse, licensed vocational nurse, physical therapist, occupational therapist, or speech-language pathologist. Three, has obtained a criminal record clearance as a prerequisite to holding a license or certificate to provide direct care services. Four, has a license or certification to provide direct care services that is in good standing with the appropriate licensing or certification board. Five, is providing time-limited specialized clinical care or services and six is not alone with a client. The California Health and Safety Code, Division 2, Chapter 8, Section 1728.1 A2A states the following requirements regarding criminal record clearance for a home health license. To qualify for a home health agency license, the following requirements shall be met. The following persons shall submit to the State Department of Public Health an application and shall submit electronic fingerprint images to the Department of Justice for the furnishing of the person's criminal record to the State Department at the person's expense as provided in Subdivision B for the purpose of a criminal record review. For an HHA, submit the CDPH 325 form for the following individuals. Owners having a 5% or more ownership, administrator, and administrator designee. If the administrator is a doctor or registered nurse, he or she is subject to the same requirements for a criminal record clearance. 
So let's begin filling out this form. At the top of the form, list the licensee name, which is the legal name of the business, followed by the date, which is the day the form is being completed, and the facility name. Below the name of the licensee, list the complete street address and the city of the facility. In the columns below, list the last name and first name of each individual requiring a criminal background clearance, followed by the date of birth and social security number. Continue to list all the positions and or titles of each individual and the date of hire. Here's a tip. Failure to provide the correct social security number will cause delay in obtaining criminal background clearance. If you have any additional questions regarding the use of the CDPH 325 Criminal Record Clearance Submissions Form or how to fill it out, please call the Centralized Applications Branch Mainline at 916-552-8632 or submit an email to cab at cdph.ca.gov. Staff will respond to your inquiry within 48 hours. Thank you for following along with this review of the CDPH 325 form.